you excellent on China. You've been very tough on China in your campaign. Um, but it, when you, I think it was back in 2018, you were, you were CEO, you gave a, a keynote remarks at some biotech conference in China. Um, I know you've you've done business in China yeah. and you've partnered with with various yes. companies that have uh, ties to China. Uh, do you have a uh, is there a transcript of that those remarks that you gave at that biotech conference? Would you release the video yeah, you, you, uh, of the speech there? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, there's nothing to hide far from it. I write about that experience in Woke Inc, my first book, Laura. And the fact is I probably know more about the modern China Chinese state than probably everybody else on that debate stage yesterday. Because, yes, I have done deals around the world, developing medicines in many jurisdictions, not just China. But here's what I know through my own experience. China is different. The CCP does not allow you to do business in China unless you effectively meet their demands. And that's why they turn American CEOs from Jamie Dimon to Tim Cook to Larry Fink into the CCP's circus monkeys. And so the reason I am so vocal against actually our need for economic independence from China, Laura, is based on my own views as somebody who actually has not been in state government for my whole life, but actually has been in business, understands how this game is played. China wants to turn U.S. companies into pawns to do their bidding. That is why they require Airbnb, for example, to hand over American user data as a condition for doing business in China. No. That is not capitalism. That is Chinese mercantilism. And that's why I have been the most aggressive in this race based on my